more state of 2009 state of the subways information for you. These are the metro card ratings for the lines. This is sort of like this is the final determination of how the line performed over over the course of 2008 according to the Strap Hangers campaign. They they give a rating. The rating is how how much of the current fare is it worth to ride the line. That's basically the sum they, that they come up with a dollar rating and they determine that based on this line statistics. The seven lines were the highest rating, which is a dollar fifty five. But because of the fare hike before they they could there was a fare hike before they reached the port. The the fare went up from two dollars a ride to two twenty five. So the base fare of 225 is where the highest possible rating can be for a line. The seven lines were a dollar fifty-five out of two twenty-five. That be, if the best line in our subway system can score a dollar fifty-five out of two twenty-five, then there's a problem. <laughs> there's a pro this is the best line, and, it, and it's and it's seventy cents away from a perfect rating, which is a. It's a full line away from being perfect, be being at the C train rate of 50 cents. I mean, if the best line is far from being, per from being, in the estimation, the perfect line, which it doesn't take much to be a perfect line in New York City, then the, the seventh train, even though you could have congrats on the scoring first place, but you have a problem. The L train. All you have to do is get a, some get a couple of riders off your line and you'll be good. Cause then you'll get a C chance up on the top and then you you'll be great for this report because the one train and the six train. The one and the six have been in the top five have been among the top five lines of this report for each of the last four years. Congratulations on the one and the six train. Again, every line in this in this MTA can improve significantly, but as we go down the list, you have the Q, Jay Z, four, three, N, with their metro car ratings, as you can see on the, on the sides of them. This is. I'm going to tell you right now the reason why a line will never ever score a perfect rating in the Strat Hangers campaign in the Subways report. One, the reason why is because they score each line based on a percentile system. So the based on the point system, what they score the lines in their method in the methodology. What they're doing is comparing lines to each other, not a line. They're not comparing them to a particular standard. When I was showing you the best and worst lines by the indicator, they're, they're really scoring you based on that sheet that I showed you in the previous video. They're And because of that, no line will ever score a perfect rating. In order to score a perfect rating, you would have to be, you would have to be among the top five lines in every category, in every one. In every category, you'd have to score a top five rating, which in this MTA is impossible. They have, they, they, It is impossible because they have a category called rush hour sea chance. <laughs> Even if a line does come regularly, regular enough to be in the top five, which is a pretty good regularity, if it comes regularly, has a has a great cleanliness, perfect announcements, high frequency. Guess what? It's gonna have a low sea chance because people are gonna want to ride it. The, 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 the strap hangers campaign is just they even though that is nice some of the advocacy work they they are a very dumb group in some aspects very d Gene rushing off instead of blabbing your mouth giving requiems to Z and W trains which are still here they didn't they didn't go anywhere instead of blabbing your mouth about nonsense 
you should imp improve this report to where it's giving a clear picture of the New York City subway system. When you're comparing lines to each other, you're not giving a clear picture of the subway system. What you're doing is you're giving... You're trying to hide something. The fact that they're trying to hide is that compared to the rest of the world, our subway system is horrible. Our subway system... Tokyo's system is much better than ours. Hong Kong, Shanghai, those are, a lot of the major cities in the eastern part of the world have much better subway systems. Even compared with London, London has cleaner trains even though less people ride their lines. They have platform screen doors in, the, in some of their stations. The technology we could use to improve safety at our stations, especially Grand Central and Union Square, we could use platform screen doors. The V and the M train. Now these lines here, when you start getting below a dollar, this is bad. It's out of 225. The, 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 the rating, 225 cents is the highest rating the line could get. And the, the, the F sorry, the F train scored a 95 cent rating. Basically, what they're saying is that it's not even worth half of what you're paying to ride the F train. If the situation is that bad, why is the MTA doing anything? Okay, putting in the R160 is one step. But you gotta do other things to get people to realize that the system's improving. Even though the new call will approve the announcements, they will approve the breakdown rate, there are other things wrong with the F1. One, not enough people are writing it. Every line in New York City should be crowded. Every line should have scored in a CTA below 40% in this report. Which is why I admire the N and W from now moving in with the 28% moving down in the, in the 6, 4, L territory. That's where lines need to be. Every line should have a capacity crowd stand for rush hour. Every, this is, this, this is just... So to see these lines with these very high seat chances and these low metro car ratings, it's just... It's, a, it's embarrassing. Who, who is running this subway system? Then look at the huge gap in between the C and the B. And if you've been noticing all the other lines I showed you have had like five, ten cent gaps. It's been very close in terms of the lines before. You get to the B, 90 cents, the 21st, 20th actually, the G train didn't get a rating because they can never find, give it a C chance. One, because it would score over 90% every year. C train scored the worst metric car rating of all lines, 50 cents. Look at the huge gap between 90 and 50 cents. The C is much worse than the second worst line. <laughs> if th th that's true, then we should just get rid of the C train. It shouldn't even be in the subway system. We should just have the should just have the A run Central Park West local, and then the E train run Eighth Avenue and be the only Eighth Avenue local. It makes no sense to have a C. It makes no. And then have a Fulton Street sh have a Fulton Street like line like r r make the local stops in Brooklyn on the IND. It should not. There should not be a season if it's scoring this badly. <laughs> if it's scoring. It was the only line that I know of in the state of the summary report which scored a b below a system average in every category that that the Chapinger campaign rates lines on. It's just the C. You you, you you've reached new lows. And I'm happy to I'm happy to announce you, your death, you, 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 the C train, you, your ceremonial passing on July 15th, 2009. And I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to we have to discontinue you guys. We have to discontinue you soon. So you've marked your passing on July 15th, 2009. Enjoy your rides on the A and the E line. Those lines will be improving technologically soon. So. We won't miss you though. Now it's time you can have a funeral, Gene Rush and all, for the C train. And for all you who view my video, please take this all into consideration. 
and to develop more of an expertise in New York City Transit, Transit fans, please. That's all I ask of you. Develop more of an expertise in New York City Transit. Like I am not don't worry, I'm gonna tape more videos of the subway and bus system soon. I will continue watching my YouTube channel, subscribe, all of that. JW Center 92 signing off. Goodbye.